what's up coach welcome back to the channel if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the content that we put out on a daily and weekly basis now if you get to the end of this call and you want to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me then the best way to do that is go to the calendar in the description of this video you can click on it and schedule a free 15 to minute to 20 minute call with me uh, at a time and day that suits you. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to send me a direct uh, email or question, right, there's also a way you can do that as well. And that is by emailing me directly to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. So today's video is about how to convert leads into clients. Now, part of my job at Make Money Coaching Sports is I speak with coaches every single day who are in different, different sports, right? We've got coaches in our program who are in soccer, they're in basketball, baseball, and sports performance. Uh, we have coaches who are in volleyball, right? So we've got coaches that are in multiple, multiple sports. And part of my job is what I do is I also speak to coaches who aren't in our program. And I get on these free 15 to 20 minute calls and I ask these coaches questions about what they're doing to convert their leads into clients. So a common question that we get from a lot of uh, sports trainers is, how can I convert my leads into clients, right? So there's a lot of coaches out there who have really successful businesses and that are getting leads on a daily basis. But the problem that they are facing is they don't know how to convert that lead into a paying client. So the honest truth is that if you are generating a lot of leads, this might be through your website, it might be through Facebook, it might be through Instagram, might be through a text message, might be through email, right? All of those different platforms. If you're, if you're getting leads, but you're not converting them into clients, then ultimately your business is going to die because you're not bringing in extra income and revenue. So I want to show you a four-step process into how you can generate a lead and convert that lead into a client so they can be with you for three, six, nine, and up to 12 months, right? So if you have a look at my screen, I've set this out in a four-step four, four step process, and this is pretty much the, the process that we teach coaches within our program. Now, in our program, we go into a lot more depth into this step by step so if you were to become a member of our program we would share with you a uh, scripts that you can use on a sales call we'll also show you different ways how to generate leads using social media and also the best way to speak and communicate with clients over a call okay so I want to break this down very simple. So number one is, first of all, you've got to set up, set up an online system where parents can apply for your program. So I'm going to take the average coach, okay, who is in soccer. Now, they have a website. Ideally, you want to have a website. And on that website, there's a landing page where parents can even, parents who might be searching on Google, Okay, so if you're a coach that lives in San Antonio, in Texas, right, and a parent he wants extra training, extra supplemental soccer training for their child, what they might do is they might type into Google a uh, private training in San Antonio. What they what they what will happen then on Google? Google will come up with a list of all the local uh, training companies within that San Antonio area. And hopefully that parent will then click on click on your company and that link will take them onto your website. So as the parent is now on the website, 
then they've read the information, they've consumed your content and the problem that they're trying to solve, okay, that really resonates with what your company offers. Okay, so if that parent feels that, you know what, this company will be able to solve my problem, what they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and apply for you for your program. Okay, so the first step is to make sure that we're, we're generating leads. We need to have a good online system in place. So this could be a website, could be a Facebook page, could be an Instagram page, right? It needs to be something that parents can apply online for your program, right? There's some coaches who just create a landing page and then the link with that landing page, then they pay, copy and paste it onto their Instagram, their Instagram page, so that any parent that comes across their Instagram page can click on the link and then it takes them to the landing page where they can apply for the program, right? So number one, we need to have an online system where parents apply. Now, second bit is we need to have a system where once that application has been made, we then grab that information and it's and it's sent to us, could be via email, it could be via text message, and ideally, what we want to do is once we have that, that leads information, the next step is to get in contact with them. Now, what we do at our company is we teach coaches how to approach parents via text message. Okay, so that leads come in. Now, what we want to do is we want to send them a text message to schedule an application call with us. Okay, so if I'm a, if I'm a soccer a business owner, a lead has come in, I've got that information, I've got the parent's name, I've got their address, I've got their email, and I've got their contact number, right, their cell number. What I want to do is I want to send them a text message to say, hey, Mrs. Jones, thank you for applying to work with us. This is Leo from X Training. Okay. What I would like to do now is I'd like to schedule a 20 minute call with you to talk about your child and to see if we are a good fit for you. Okay. So what will happen now is once you've text the parent, they will get back to you and hopefully, you know, they will say yes to the call. And what we then do is we then look to schedule them in to a call with us. And on that call, what we do is we make sure that we're asking really good questions about their child and what problem they are currently having that needs to be solved. Okay. So the second bit is now we want to text that prospect, get them onto an application call with us, where then we can move them on to the third step, which is now we got, a, once we get them on the call, We've asked them questions about their child to see where they're at, see what problems they are facing. And then what we want to do is we, if we feel that in that moment they are a, a good fit to work with, the next step is to close them into an evaluation session with us. Now, there's a couple of options you can do. You can invite, you can register them straight away onto that eval session or after the call, you could say to them, hey, Mr. Jones, thank you very much for jumping on the call. What we are going to do now is within the next 24 hours, we will get back to you to see if your application has been successful and to invite you to come down and do an evaluation session with one of our coaches. Okay, So if, that, if you feel that that parent is a good fit, we then invite them into an evaluation session or a taster session, depending on what you want to call it. Some coaches call it a, a tryout. Some call it an evaluation. Some call it a taster session. Okay. Now, what we tend to do is we encourage our coaches to make these sessions um, a lot shorter so they aren't getting the full amount of one-to-one -one training. Right. So if you're doing one-to-one -one training, and normally your sessions are an hour, we want to limit it down to only a 20 or 30 minute session so that you can see what that client is like. Okay. And when they arrive to your session, 
we want to see is are they are they on time uh, how coachable is their child can you work with the child okay and what's the communication level like with the parent and yourself okay between you two so if they arrive to your session you've done your evaluation session you think that they are a good fit the next step is, next step four, is now we want to look to sign them up and register them onto the program. The best way to do this is, again, we, after the taster session is finished, right, we text the parents to say, thank you very much, Mrs. Jones, for, for showing up and, and coming to our evaluation session. What we are going to do is, in within 24 hours, we will contact you to see if your child has been accepted into our program. Okay. So after 24 hours has gone, what we do is we can text that parent. And then the next step is we want to get them onto another phone call where we can then look to sign them up and get them registered into a paying client. Okay. So this is a very simple four step process that you can go from generating a lead online to converting that lead into a paying client, okay? And this four-step process can be used whether you're doing private one-to-one -one training or small group training, okay? It can also be used for camps and clinics as well, okay? But with camps and clinics, okay, sometimes there's probably not, not enough time to do an evaluation or taste the session. So even though you can use this system for a camp or clinic, ideally what we want to do is when we work with longer committed clients with private training, that is this, this process is better for one-to-one -one or small group training. Okay. So if you need more help with this, right. And if you want to learn how you can use this model and implement it into your business, get in contact with me. Two ways to do that. The first one is in the Calendly link in the description. Okay, you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, or you can send me a, an email straight away to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.